Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode of On Sundays We Stamp, Succulent Nails. We are going to start off these nails with two coats of Marshmallow Sunset by Kale Polish, which unfortunately is unavailable. I swore it was still on the website when I looked, and then when I went back to link it, it was gone. That is the trouble with loving nail polishes on companies that might not last more than two years. Kind of a bummer. I'm going to see if I can find a dupe for this somewhere. We'll see. I'll just keep an eye out for it. But it is a white color that has a sort of orangey pink shimmer shift to it. Next, I'm taking this maniology plate that I just bought. It's this little succulent or botanical one. It's the BMS326. I just bought this last week, and when I went to find the link for it, it was also gone. What is going on with these people? I don't understand. So after picking that up with a black polish, I'm going to use a sort of peachy coral color. This is Pink Ladies Rule the School by OPI. And I'm going to take it and brush it onto the tips of the succulent stamp. That is because little succulents, if you've ever seen them in real life, the tips kind of have like a little pinky coral color to them, but just on the tips. So I wanted to make them look as realistic as possible. And then I took this sage color by Essie called Bon Voyage. It's a sort of dusty pale green, and it is the perfect color for filling in the succulent itself. I'm filling it in with a small detail brush that I picked up at Michael's, and I'm going to let this sit and dry for about five minutes till it's dry to the touch. Next, I'm taking Shibori, which is a beautiful navy color, and I'm taking it with this Nails by Miri stamping plate. It's a collaboration with Maniology. I just got this. I did, I did a whole order last week, and I'm surprised to see some of the things I just bought are gone already. So I love this design as like a nice background over the sunset marshmallow. And after I checked the succulent to make sure it was dry to the touch, I went ahead and applied it. It was, if it's dry and you put your finger on it and it makes fingerprints, it's still sticky enough for you to go ahead and apply it to your nail without a clear polish. And now I am using the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. This is the first time I've was able to buy it. It's usually sold out. And as a top coat, it's fairly thin for my taste, but it does work and doesn't smudge. So I just went ahead and put it on, let it dry, and then applied my favorite top coat. Also on my ring finger, I did this little succulent, which was a little bit longer as kind of a stem. And I really love the way they all turned out. I think adding the pink really gave them a sort of realistic touch. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.